Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels homesteading with Kelly. How you doing? We're doing great. We hope you're doing great. So I'm making an intro before the intro of the next video because it's been a really hectic week because I started in the pharmacy at my work. I transferred from the bakery to the pharmacy. Now I'm a pharmacy technician in training, getting certified and all that. And uh, it's going to be an amazing change, an amazing career opportunity. It's going to be awesome. So I've been super duper busy. Today's Sunday, my only day off in let's see i started wednesday this past wednesday um in the pharmacy i had tuesday off so i worked wednesday through yesterday which was saturday i was off today sunday kelly and i did a lot of things around homestead you can see i'm i forgot to wear i wore my hat and then I took it off because I was in a shady area and then I didn't put it back on so my face got sunburnt so yeah I have to deal with that but today I'm off which is Sunday and then I work all week um, in the pharmacy so I'm loving it I love 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 it it is amazing I get to wear scrubs and be around well in the bakery they had amazing people as well. The pharmacy has amazing people. I'm just very lucky to be able to work with amazing people. So um, I've been busy doing that. So let me go ahead and bring you this video um, of the oven hookup, uh, the range um, right over there. So look at our beautiful cabinets. I love them so much, Kelly's plants. Those are actually pineapples right there. They were just, we ate the pineapples and Kelly, she just planted those and they're growing like crazy. So uh, anyway, let me bring you this video. Hey everybody, it's Christopher Travels homesteading with Kelly. How you doing? We're doing great. We hope you're doing great. Well, the moment of truth has come. We have put the propane tank in place. I got all the cords and wires and stuff. Although I did not get the shutoff valve. Uh, but when I get that, I'll be putting that into the system. So don't worry about having an emergency shutoff because it'll be coming. It's coming! So I'm going to show you what I did outside. Right here, this thing uh, I got from work. They just were throwing it away. I just heard gunshots. Anyway, they were throwing this away and I went ahead and cut a hole and put the propane tank in there. And I can actually probably fit two in there in the future and then Bill helped me get the hole in the wall and I put this on there so the sun wouldn't hurt the cord so that's going inside and yes Craig I've been making sure the oil's good to go in the generator the new generator and I do use the synthetic 1030 so don't worry I've been seeing your comments I just haven't really been replying lately I've been super busy but uh so the lines go in here and then I checked for leaks that's why the floor is wet I do not have any leaks <clears throat> and then it goes into the back and that's where I'll put the shutoff valve uh, right on there and uh yep so we're gonna test it 
So, hold on. Okay, I got you in the tripod. I probably just moved you, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Oh, there it goes. Just took a second. <sighs> okay, so now that it's plugged in, we should be able to try to light one of these. <laughs> okay. So that's the rear. Let's try the front. propane is on, but I don't smell it. I don't smell it at all. Oh, we got something. Okay, so it's not very high. I don't know if you could see that in the line, but let's turn it off. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah! Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, we're in business. There it is. Now it's a little breezy coming in the window, so let's try this front one again. Yeah, nice. And I see blue flame. There's no white or anything on it, so this one yeah buddy it's working okay moment of truth okay let me get you closer hold on okay I moved you to inside now let's see what happens I screwed the orifice down there and uh, I took the plate off uh, the top so we can see so I took this plate off <clears throat> because I might have to adjust a couple things Okay, let's try it. Wait, where is... I don't see the orifice. Oh, the orifice is light, or that thing is lighting. Let's see if it turns on. So it's not lighting. I wish I had a longer lighter. I smell something burning and I don't see Okay, so, uh, everything worked except for down there. So I think I even tried to put a match in there with the orifices, but it didn't light down there, so. But the, as you saw, the glow, the igniter did 
ign like it lit up, but it didn't light anything. So, and so I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, er, back up. Okay. I actually had Bill over and Bill helped me do something to the oven and we took it all apart and uh, we put on the new um, igniter and then some other stuff but it works and we actually hooked up the multimeter to it when we were powering it and it uses about 415 watts of power while using the oven continuously so if we want to use this we definitely have to uh, run our generator so but at least we can run our generator on eco mode and it'll last a nice time so if we want to make uh, Thanksgiving dinner or something and make a turkey in the oven we can go ahead and do that and uh, so everything works and I put everything almost everything back together but uh, yep we got a new igniter right there and uh, yep so I just have to put there's a thing in there and you know all that kind of stuff so Yay, it works! <laughs> so, I just want to let you know. Woohoo! Actually, I could show you. Yeah, let me show you. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and plug it in here. Okay, I got it plugged in. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You'll hear the generator. Maybe you'll hear the generator change a little bit when I turn this on. Uh, turn it's just a little bit but let's watch the igniters on Takes it about 20. Oh, it's on. I see flame. There, I see the flame. Right there. Yay, we got an oven. So that thing stays lit. There's no pilot on this oven. So it's not like it's going to. We have to have it plugged it in. So if I should unplug this, which I already tried, the light goes out and then eventually the gas turns off so when this is on what happens is, is it opens a valve down there and yep so and it just takes it a second to turn off look at that blue flame beautiful and everything's adjusted properly and we should not blow up Yippee! And I'll show you this one too. There it is. You can't really see the flame, but it's blue. There's no white tips. So, yeah, you can't really see it. But, yay, we got a working oven. Thanks for being with us on this journey. Live life to the fullest. We'll see you soon. Bye.